hi guys and welcome to yet another very exciting adobe illustrator tutorial and in this tutorial we are going to make a new here banner so let's get started first of all select the type tool and write the year 2022 let's increase the size of the text to 300 and i'm going to also select its font you can select any font it doesn't matter you do not need to follow the font that i have but make sure it has a round corners i think the effect will look much better with it but it's still your choice these things are optional let's right click and convert the text to shape by convert to outlines so it's more easier to work this way let's turn the fill color to white and turn the stroke color to black we are going to turn the black color off in the end but at the moment we need it let's align it to the center of the work area let's select the pen tool first of all let's zoom in with the help of the pen tool we are going to draw our shapes you do not need to follow exactly the shapes that i make but if you do want you can freeze the frame once the illustration is done and you can apply this method to other things i'm just showing you a technique it's not mandatory that you have to follow it exactly the way I am making it. Let's make one shape at the top here. By the way, if you don't know how to curve the lines or the spline lines, when you click with the left mouse button, don't let go. Click and drag and the line will be curved. Some people sometimes ask in the comment section if you don't know already then now you know Okay, now what's that's done, select all the shapes and select the shape builder tool and uh, all the halt key to cut the extra parts like this one, this one also, this has to be cut also, this last one and now click in your shapes that all you want to be separate shapes if you click in any shape or two shapes that are connected and uh, with the shape builder tool it's going to make them a separate shape so it's really easy way to make different shapes alternatively you can also use the pathfinder tool i think its option of divide is also useful for it but i like to work with the shape builder tool okay now let's select some of our shapes and apply the gradients that we have already created the color code of which i will be given at the end of the video we are going to select this top gradient for these shapes and the shape that are inside the text select them all by holding the shift key okay once that's done we are going to open a little and with the help of the pen tool we are going to draw some simple leaves click and drag so the line will be curved if you want the curvature to go away right click on so the line will be curved if you have just dragged and the line will be straight again with the help of the curvature tool you can adjust of course your shape at any time and introduce new points into it i'm going to readjust this a little bit Also going to smooth down this anchor point. The hard edges does not look that good. Let's apply the color to it. With the pen tool we are going to make another shape this will give you hit the illusion that the leaf is divided into two two sides now select it give it a white fill and let's reduce its opacity
make the rest of the leaves also in the same manner Take whatever amount of time that you require since I'm making a tutorial so I cannot really refine these shapes but in the final output I might refine it a little bit more once I'm not recording and move to the other side. We are going to make the same sort of leaves on this side also. Okay, let's copy the fill color of the previous leaves. Okay, once this is done, let's zoom out a little. Let's select the type tool and we are going to write the same word once more. I should have made the copy of this in the beginning, but it doesn't matter. I'm going to convert this to outline again. Right click it and turn to outlines. Once they have converted into outlines, the black color is okay. We are going to reduce its opacity to make a shadow for our text. Reduce the opacity to 20. Let's put this text and we Let's put this text behind our original text. Adjust its positions the way you like it. Right click it and send it to the back. And now we are going to apply a Gaussian blur to it. Go to stylize and blur. The amount of blur really depends on your style and the look that you are going for. I think 6 or 5 is okay. It's going to look something like this. Let's zoom into our text to make some extra details in our text. Select the pen tool and draw shapes. Those are curved and conform to the shape of the text. Make the same sort of shapes in all the text on top of here also but do not do these sort of shapes too many otherwise they don't look so good one at the bottom here
once all the shapes are done select them all by holding the shift key with the select them all I think we are going to reduce its opacity a little bit more to 50 I think that looks okay Once that's done, now I'm going to make the background of our banner. Select the rectangle tool and make a shape like this. Apply the apply the top gradient to it. Adjust the gradient with the gradient tool from bottom to top. Right click on the background and send it to the back. Once that's done, let's select our text and turn off its stroke color. The last bit that we are going to do is that we are going to create one last text. Let's reduce the size of this text to 50. And also change the font type to something modern. I think Calvary font will be nice, but you can choose any font that you like. Let's write AP New Year. Let's put this text at the bottom of our larger text. Now turn this text also into outlines. Let's apply a color to it. As you can see, this gradient does not look good. This gradient looks that it has been divided into different parts. We don't want that. We can easily fix this. Let's zoom in a little and select the selection tool and right click on it and ungroup it first of all. Then select all the shapes and right click on it and click on release compound path. And now select the shape and right click and make compound path and now when you make the compound path the gradient is applied to it like it's applied to one shape that's what I wanted and let's adjust gradient with the gradient tool also let's align it let's bring one of the leaves down here Rotate, adjust its position. Also change its color to the other gradient color. So it is more visible in the dark green. So once that's done, it, our banner is complete. I hope you guys like this tutorial. And if you do, please share in the comment what you want to see in the next tutorial. Thanks and goodbye for now.